I just got a new machine and I lost my ability to use live web and I love live web so I was kind of upset with this so I tried to just reinstall it using the old instructions some of the instructions that I had actually used in the past or promoted in the past uh, so let me tell you what you need to do in order to make live web work with Windows 10 so the first thing you need to do is obviously download the live web um, zip file so once you get that you just unzip it to a certain location then you come into PowerPoint and you say I don't need to go to my options and you have an option for add-ins you need to, to select this drop down and say PowerPoint add-ins so that's where I, I got hung up a bit and then you say go and then you can add a new one after this and when you go to add the new one and you've already unzipped those files then live web will show up there All right. So then you come back over here you restart PowerPoint and you should see in your add-ins this thing over here with web pages and if you go and drag it in and you get a message about ActiveX controls not working that's where you need to go to regedit and make a change to your registry and there are specific ones you need to change depending on uh, what version of Windows you have and that information is found is this it? oh no here it is this is it right here. So I had to go find what Windows version I had and what fit, but ultimately it was one of these. So you just need to navigate through that tree on your red edit, your registry basically, and find that individual setting here, and then go change the compatibility flags to that zero value. So for me it was this, and I needed to change it from hexadecimal to decimal, and here I had a huge value and I changed it to zero and then live web worked after that. So a lot of steps, unfortunately, but um, if you want to make live web work, that's what you need to do.